So, colleagues, by now I am sure you would have appreciated and understood all the core components which are prescribed by World Health Organization. Now, let us look at what are the implications of these new core components which are prescribed for low and middle income countries, especially if we are going to talk about India. The major hurdles with implementation of uh, the new core components is first and foremost having very limited access to qualified and trained infection prevention professionals in India and other low resource settings. We have inadequate budgets and hence it leads into huge implementation challenges. And uh, some of these core components which are being mentioned here, they need actually adaptation and tailoring to the local cultural settings. And the local context had to be taken into consideration while we are going to prescribe these components to our healthcare institutions. As been mentioned already, availability of human resources and training, uh, quality microbiology and uh, laboratory support is going to have, uh, or their options are going to, is going to have a huge impact on the surveillance and auditing and hence, uh, we need to uh, ensure that all these issues which are considered to be hurdles in implementation to be taken care of by the respective healthcare facilities and also the national governments. Going uh, further on uh, some of those issues, uh, if we are going to talk about uh, uh, some of the solutions, for example, alcohol based hand drops, if they can be encouraged to be produced locally instead of actually importing or instead of actually making it very complicated and expensive. Uh, that could actually have a very positive impact. Partnerships and partner collaborations, uh, for example, the organizations like Infection Control Academy, it uh, is collaborating with uh, several governmental and non-governmental organizations and it also publishes the uh, newsletters and journals in order to uh, create the awareness. So, the partnerships and uh, collaborations with various countries is going to uh, give an impetus in order to make the IPC uh, core component implementation within the given country or within the healthcare facility very easy and, um, and it is going to be meaningful for everybody. So, now as I told you in the uh, previous slide, uh, Infection Control Academy which is actually uh, collaborating even for this program has got a very vital role uh, to play in implementing the IPC guidelines within India. Uh, so, when we talk about Infection Control Academy, um, it works on various levels at a policy level at implementation level, at ed, uh, educating and sensitizing level, both uh, within the healthcare system and also at the community level. So, if I uh, does uh, credentialing of uh, the healthcare workers, uh, so that they can use not only their knowledge for improving the patient safety, but also use this uh, credentials to move up the ladder in terms of their career progression. So, now <coughs> we have come to the an end of this module and uh, before uh, we close this module, I would like all of you uh, to uh, do a certain uh, activities, so that all the knowledge and information which is being provided to you can be effectively used for implementation at uh, healthcare facility level. One is of course, please review the handout which is uh, provided for this module, read additional material which has been uh, mentioned in, in your study material, consider discussing this topic among the participants. I am sure you would get such an opportunity. Uh, join an IPC organization for network and continuous education because 
infection prevention and control is a relatively young subject uh, within uh, uh, medical education and hence there are a lot of lot of developments which are uh, happening in this field and luckily uh, the awareness about uh, infection prevention and control is growing which is contributing to uh, safer hospitals and also making uh, the patient stay and uh, patient care much more safer. So, you can uh, join organizations like Infection Control Academy, where you would be able to network with the like minded people who are focused on uh, infection prevention and control and uh, get uh, you know the guidance and also uh, kind of uh, continuous education. Uh, through this organization. And I would also encourage you to actively participate in the discussion forums, which again uh, you would be given the links for such discussion forums uh, in your study material. And <coughs> if there is any possibility and if you have the access, uh, certainly visit a healthcare facility in order to understand at a uh, practice level how the IPC is uh, being implemented. And uh, please ensure uh, to make personal effort, effort uh, in order to implement uh, the learning what you have uh, from all these uh, modules into practice. And please do not forget to complete the assessment within the stipulated time, so that your certificate is not in the danger. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, I am sure this learning would go a long way uh, in uh, preventing uh, hospital acquired infections. You becoming one of those uh, uh, pioneering uh, specialists in the field of uh, infection prevention control. Let us join the hands to prevent uh, hospital acquired infections and make our healthcare system safer and effective. Thank you. Have a great time.